Okay, in the last lectures, uh, we have discussed about the some of the specialized IC's such as triple uh, five timer, five six five, and all. Today, we will discuss another uh, special type of IC which is called as a voltage regulator. Voltage regulator as the name implies is a electronic circuit which provide the stable DC voltage for powering the electronic appliances. It is an electronic circuit which provides stable DC voltage for powering electronic appliances. So, we know that all the electronic devices require some power supply and the power supply should be stable. Okay. So, in order to uh, provide this uh, stable power supply to the electronic appliances, we will use a voltage regulator. So, basically there are two types of the voltage regulators. One is called the series uh, voltage regulator, another is called switching mode. voltage regulator. This series regulator also can be called as a linear regulator because here we are going to uh, use a power transistor which operates in the linear region whereas in uh, switching mode we are going to use a power transistor uh, which will act as the on off uh, switch. So, this will act as non-linear voltage regulator. In series again we have uh, two more types which is called fixed voltage regulator variable output voltage. Whether the regulator provides the fixed voltage or the stable voltage can be varied over a range. Depends upon that we have two types of the series uh, regulators one is fixed voltage another is variable voltage. And again this fixed we can have uh, two sub uh, types of uh, fixed uh, voltage regulators one is whether the fixed voltage is positive or negative. Similarly, the variable voltage is positive or negative. So, these are the different types of the voltage regulators. Now, if I consider the conventional voltage regulator using operational amplifier. Also, it is called as regulator power supply RPS. Here basically we will take uh, unregulated power supply It is V in which will act as unregulated power supply. Now, 
you see the output resistance of uh, this uh, power supply. Now this will be applied to a transistor which uh, will be drive by a operational amplifier. This is the output load. You see the basic circuit diagram of a regulated power supply using operational amplifier and uh, discrete components. Here uh, V in is unregulated uh, voltage. And uh, V naught is regulated voltage. If due to uh, changes in the load current, if V naught fluctuates, then the difference between this uh, V in and uh, V naught will be absorbed by this power transistor Q1. Power transistor Q1. Absorbs the difference between V not varies due to load current variations. This is the one uh, use of this power transistor Q1. So, whenever V not changes, then the difference between this V not and V in will be observed by this Q1. In addition to that, Q1 also will act as a emitter follower. Q1 also acts as an emitter follower. So that it will uh, supply the sufficient current to the load. So, coming for the operation of this regulated power supply, a part of the output will be sampled here beta into V naught, where beta is given by using the uh, voltage divider uh, expression R2 by R1 plus R2. This is V naught, the voltage across this will be V naught into R2 by R1 plus R2. So, beta V naught, beta will be R2 by R1 plus R2. Now, this will be fed back to the positive terminal of operational amplifier, this will act as error amplifier. The output of this one is V0 dash. And the second input of this operational amplifier will be connected to the GNR diode, which supplies a reference voltage. Now, error amplifier will amplify the difference between the beta V naught and V reference. So, 
So, this beta V naught will be supplied to the negative terminal whereas the positive terminal will be supplied with a V reference voltage which will be supplied by the G naught diode. Now, the error amplifier will amplify the difference between the V reference and beta V naught. V reference minus beta V naught will be amplified by error amplifier. Let us consider that if uh, V naught increases due to fluctuations in the load. So, this V naught has been increased. How to nullify this increase in the V naught using this regulated power supply? So, we can see that as V naught increases beta V naught also will increases. Then what happens to V reference minus beta V naught? Because this is a minus sign if this value is large then the overall value will be less this will decreases. Then V naught dash is the output of the error amplifier whose input is V reference minus beta V naught. So, V naught dash also decreases because this is the input to the error amplifier this is the output of the error amplifier. If input decreases output also decreases. So, this V naught dash will drive this uh, emitter follow error. So, as a result of that because this Q 1 will act as emitter follow error. So, V naught also decreases thereby nullifies the V naught variation. Similarly, if V naught decreases also, so this beta V naught decreases whereas, V reference minus beta V naught will increase. So, that will nullify the, the decrease in the V naught. So, you see the basic operation of uh, regulated power supply regardless of the variations in the load or temperature effects V naught remains constant or stable because of this power transistor Q 1. Now, because of the advancements in the microelectronics, so this entire circuitry can be fabricated on a monolithic silicon IC. So, what are the advantages of uh, this IC based voltage regulators when compared with the discrete uh, voltage regulators? The main advantage is low cost and the second advantage is it occupies the less area. Third one is it will give better performance. When compared with the discrete type voltage regulator. And fourth advantage is more reliable. Because of these uh, four uh, advantages, the IC voltage regulators are uh, very commonly used in many of the applications. As I have told, uh, the voltage regulators uh, are two types basically one is series type, another is a uh, switched uh, mode power supplies. First, I will discuss about the fixed voltage regulators. Monolithic. So, this uh, fixed voltage regulators are uh, available in uh, 7, 8, XX series. 7, 9, XX series. So, here this uh, 7, 8, XX series are the positive voltage regulators 
whereas 7 9 are negative voltage regulators and the last two digits xx represents the output voltage for example if i give 7805 that means so this 7805 will give the output stable voltage of plus 5 volts If I give 7905, this will give output stable voltage of minus 5 volts. And this 78 series can have 7 different output voltages, Xs can be 5 volts, 6 volts, 8 volts, 12 volts, 15 volts. 18 volts and 24 volts. This is capable of uh, supplying 7 different output voltages. Accordingly, the IC number will vary 5 volts, 6 volts, 8 volts, 12 volts, 15, 18, and 24. This 7 9 series also will uh, give all these uh, 7 ranges. In addition to this, it can provide 2 more extra voltages one is minus 2 volts, another is minus 5.2 volts. So, if I take this general diagram of this fixed voltage regulator, this is a 3 terminal device. We have an input terminal, we have an output terminal and we have an ground. This is pin number 1, pin number 2, pin number 3. So, normally at the input terminal, we will connect a capacitance. of the order of 0.33 microfarads. And between this output terminal and ground we will connect the output capacitance of 1 microfarad. So, the use of this input capacitor is to cancel inductive effects due to long distribution leads. So, if I take the equivalent circuit of any uh, wire, it will have some inductance, some capacitance, lumped parameters, distributed parameters that you may have studied in your uh, circuit theory. So, to cancel this inductive effects uh, which are caused by the long distribution leads, uh, we will use uh, input capacitance of the order of 0.33 microfarads. Similarly, the output capacitance C0 is used to improve the transient response. So, we will be having two responses like uh, transient response and uh, steady state response. Okay. So, this C naught will be used to uh, improve the transient response. Now, we have some applications of this uh, fixed voltage regulators. 
So, fixed voltage regulator can be used as a constant current source. In addition to providing the stable output voltage, this can also be used as a constant uh, current source. So, if you want to use this fixed voltage regulator as constant current source, what are the external components required? So, I will take the example of 7805 which gives the output voltage of 5 volts and 78 series means positive voltage 7805. So, there are 3 terminals in, out and ground. This is terminal 1, terminal 2, terminal 3. This is the standard voltage regulator. Now, in order to act this as a constant current source, so you have to connect uh, at the output to resistors. So, let us call this one as R1 this is VR1 this has RL this is VL so this current is IQ this current is IL this current is I0 so our intention is we have to make this as a constant current source let us assume that uh, I have this 10 ohms resistor here, it should draw 10 watts of the power and it has to operate with 1 ampere constant current. So, in order to do this, the KCL at this node will be IQ is entering, I0 is entering, IL is leaving, IL is equal to IQ plus I0. And what is I naught? This VR1 by R1 plus IQ. So, normally this IQ is very, very small for 7805, IQ is approximately equal to 4.2 milliamps, which is much, much less than. I naught. So, you can neglect this. So, this is approximately equal to V R 1 by R 1. To supply a constant current of 1 amp, so for I L to be 1 amp, what is the value of the resistance R 1 is required? What is the value of resistance R 1 required? Which will provide constant current of 1 amp to the load. So, from here this is equal to 1 amp is equal to V R 1 by R 1, but what is V R 1? This is equal to 5 volts because this is 7805, so V naught is 5 volts. So, this is equal to 5 volts by R 1 implies R 1 is equal to 5 ohms. If I choose this R1 value of 5 ohms, then this will supply a constant current of 1 amp to the, the load. This is how we can uh, use this fixed voltage regulator as a constant current source. This is one of the application. Second application is you can use this fixed voltage regulator to boost the load current.
fixed voltage regulator as current booster. So basically here I am going to take fixed voltage regulator again I will consider the same 7805 this output is connected to the load resistor RL so this output will be because this is 0 5 this will give plus 5 volts this is terminal 3 which is ground this is out this is in at the in we are going to connect through the resistor This is V B. Transistor Q one. This is I C. Collector current. This is emitter. This is say R one. Here we are going to apply the input voltage V in. So this current you call as I R1, this will be I in, this is I Q, this is I O, this is I L. Our intention is to boost this current. If I take 7805 IC, the maximum current that can be supplied by 7805 I L or I naught max is equal to 1 amp only. If I want to boost this, I have to connect this circuitry. It is clear that this I L is equal to I naught plus I C. So, this current I naught is entering, I C is also entering, I L is leaving. So, at this point, if you apply the KCL, IL is equal to I naught plus IC. Assume that if uh, this Q1 is off, implies IC is 0, simply IL and I naught will be same. This is without current boosting. So, in order to boost this current, so we have to make this IC non zero okay means we have to operate the transistor q1 we have to on this uh, transistor q1 so for that we are going to choose this r1 such that the voltage across this one is vr1 is equal to ir1 into r1 is slightly greater than 0.7 volts then transistor Q1 is on. You have to choose the value of the R1 such that if the VR1 which itself is a VEB is greater than 0.7 volts then Q1 will be on thereby it supplies some IC. So, the total current through this load will be I naught plus IC. So, current will be increases or boosted by some amount. Okay. So, how much current will be boosted? Okay. For that we will uh, do some simple mathematical analysis. So, this is the expression for I L, but what is I C is equal to beta into I B. This is I B, but what is I B? at this node i b is entering i r 1 is entering i n is leaving so this is equal to i in minus i r 1 this is equal to i in minus i r 1 is nothing but 
VEB divided by VEB which is on divided by R1 from this VR1 is equal to VEB. So, this IR is equal to VEB divided by R1. This is one expression and if I consider this I naught IQ and I in. So, this I in is entering into this regulator I Q is outputted I naught is outputted. I naught is equal to I in plus I Q, but this is approximately equal to I in itself because I Q is very very small. Now, the order of 5.2 milliamps for 7805. If I substitute this here, IB will be I naught because this I n is equal to approximately equal to I naught minus V B on divided by R1. And if you substitute this I B here, then what is I C? Right here I C is equal to beta times I naught minus V B on divided by R1. But we are interested in IL from this IL is equal to I naught plus I C. If you substitute this I C here, this is equal to I naught plus beta I naught minus beta times V B on divided by R1. Implies IL is equal to beta plus 1 times i naught minus beta into V e B on divided by R 1. If I choose say i naught of 1 amp and beta is say 15. V E B on is say one volt. R one is say seven ohms. Then what will be I L from this? I L is equal to beta plus one into I naught is sixteen into one minus fifteen into V B on is one volt divided by seven. This is equal to sixteen minus approximately equal to two point two. This is equal to thirteen point eight amperes. You see this how large value is this? Okay. So the maximum of one amp that will be provided by this seven eight zero five. If I use this external circuitry, I can increase this current to a value of 13.8 amperes. This is called the current boosting. Okay. So, we can use this fixed voltage regulator as a current booster. Okay. So, next I will discuss about the other types of the voltage regulators in the next lecture. Thank you.